Hey, Interpower Entrepreneurs, I'm your host, Dr. Amanda, and if you're a coach, expert, or business owner, you're in the right place to learn law of attraction strategies that will help you supercharge your energy, mindset, and habits to manifest rapid business growth. In today's episode, you're going to learn how fear and confusion block the law of attraction for entrepreneurs. This is one of my all-time favorite topics because I really believe that there are only two states of being that we can be in. And those two states of being would be either fear or love or joy. So fear, love or joy. Fear and confusion, love or joy. (laughs) And so when you're building your business, if you're in a constant state of fear, you are the opposite of feeling in flow and you're the opposite of feeling this state of joy. And when I say love, this energy of enlightenment, inspiration, Feeling like you've created something that you enjoy means that you will be magnetic to success. Feeling like you've created something that makes you feel a lot of fear is going to cause you to resist and repel success away. And so fear is a really important topic. And I want to break down the difference between fear and confusion and how both of these operate to block the law of attraction. So let's talk about fear first. Fear is, in my acronym and definition, the way I think of fear is the future expectation of awful results. So the acronym is future expectation of awful results. So when you're in a state of fear, you are future projecting and making up a story about something that hasn't happened in a fear-based way. Now, there are a lot of different reasons we do this. First, we could say that our brain is programmed for fear in some ways because we are at the basic level animals and we are wired for survival. So anytime something bad happens, we store it in our brain and remember it eight times more easily than we remember the good things that happen. So we have a negativity bias and what this bias does is causes us to protect ourselves. It causes us to always be tracking our surroundings for things that could go wrong or threaten in our survival and obviously this is an animalistic instinct and there used to be a lot more to be fearful of when we were way back in the day constantly at threat you know animals other people not having protection is something that we are very afraid of at a core deep rooted DNA level. And this can also get intergenerationally transmitted. So it's called the intergenerational transmission of trauma. So let's say that you have a lineage that had a lot of trauma in its history. This is encoded in your DNA. It's wired into your brain. And so it actually takes effort and strategy and consciousness to reprogram yourself for something other than fear. And now, you know, we're not talking about in a moment when you actually are in a state of fear where an animal's chasing you, that just doesn't happen very often. Yet our brain doesn't know the difference between our imagination and the stories you're making up in your mind and the things that are actually happening. It's really wild to look at people's brain scans, let's say when they're watching a movie that's scary and then thinking scary thoughts and then having actual threat. The brain scans will show that the parts of the brain that light up are exactly the same. So your brain doesn't know the difference between imagination and reality. And so when you are constantly having fear-based thoughts, future expectation of awful results, meaning that you are thinking about something that's going to happen that's bad and you're planning and protecting against it. Your brain doesn't know that that's not real. It just preps for that. And so when you think about this mixed with the law of attraction, you could easily see how this is going to push away success. Now here's another wild layer of this. Think about if you were actually being chased in the forest by a lion or a tiger, would that be a time to create? Nope, (laughs) you'd go straight into a state of survival, protection, lockdown. So your energy is on lockdown and it's, it's like closing doors. And so you're putting a bubble of protection around you when you're in that state. And it's not a time to be being creative and it's definitely not sending a signal to the universe, hey, bring me opportunities. Instead, it's sending a signal to the universe, help, I'm very freaked out, I'm in a survival threat, don't send me anything other than something to survive. And so when you combine this with the law of attraction, you can see how that fear state that most people feel on a, 
I'd say a low grade level, you know, we could say stress and fear can be somewhat equated. Anxiety rates are on the rise. And so we look at anxiety and fear and stress are all entangled and causing you to push away your success because you're sending out a signal that you don't want more opportunities, that you're already overloaded, that everything is full and that you need to survive. So that's the extreme level, right? And I think that a lot of people don't recognize that they're in this state a lot of the time. If you were to get really honest with yourself and just give yourself a rating on, let's say, a a scale of zero to 10, where zero is I am not in fear at all, 10 being I'm totally freaked out all the time, you know, where are you on that scale? Let's say you're at a five where fear comes up in your mind multiple times a day. So now you're vibing at a five and you're sending out that resonant frequency to attract that back to you. So don't worry, I'm gonna teach you how to start to play with this and shift it into flow, which is my acronym for this one. I love this, faithfully looking for opportunities to win. So when I was sitting one day thinking about what is fear really and what is flow? Like what do we really want in the opposition of fear? We want flow, we want to faithfully look for opportunities to win. We wanna feel the flow state. We wanna feel like we're alive and, and that we're attracting abundance and that we're magnetic to success and that we feel very good in our daily lives. That's flow and we've all heard of flow state. So you know, I was thinking what is it that causes us to be in flow state? And it's really that we're faithfully looking for opportunities to win we are winning and then we keep attracting that our way and so we want to get into that state so i'm going to help you get there let's now break down confusion confusion to me is on the spectrum of fear because if you look at what confusion is it's that you're overwhelmed with options it's that you're overwhelmed in your state of being and just in case you don't know state of being just means your feelings beliefs and thoughts and so it's your energetic system and so when you think of state of being you're thinking how do i feel what am i thinking about what do i believe and then that state of being is what attracts and and magnetizes your reality to you and has you taking action in a certain direction based on your state of being so when i say your state of being is overwhelmed, confusion is overwhelm, it's because you have so much on your plate and you have so many options that then you get into a state of analysis paralysis, procrastination, indecision, shiny object syndrome, and all of this is going to cause imposter syndrome because when you're confused and in fear, you feel like a fraud. You feel like you don't know what you're doing. You feel freaked out that you're not going to be successful. And so, you know, when you think about confusion and fear, it is very tied to not enoughness. And that's why I say I really think there's only two states to be in fear or flow fear or love because in fear lives all of these things we're talking about confusion overwhelm stress anxiety imposter syndrome shiny object syndrome procrastination perfectionism negatively comparing yourself to other people self-doubt lack of self-worth and overarchingly just this state of not enoughness like i'm not enough to figure this out I'm not enough to create a successful business. If I've already created a successful business, I'm not enough to keep it going. Uh, I'm not enough to do this in a way that feels flowing. Instead, I do it in a way that feels stressful and overwhelming and causes more confusion and frustration. Or, you know, one area of my life is working, but another one's not, which creates confusion and fear. And so you can see how these poles are really what we vacillate between fear and flow, fear and love, confusion and flow, confusion and clarity, right? And so if we just look at how we bounce back and forth between that, that's what we wanna start identifying and getting clear about today so that you can be in a poised state of balance that causes you to attract success from a place of clarity and flow. This will make everything in your business grow much more easily. You'll experience rapid business growth because you will be accessing the law of attraction to your strengths or to your benefit instead of having the law of attraction continue to bring you things that you don't consciously think you want. So when I say that, I say that because the law of attraction is always working. It's not that all of a sudden it gets blocked and it gets turned off. When I say confusion and fear block the law of attraction, I mean it blocks you from successfully attracting what you say you consciously want. 
alternatively, when you're in this state of fear and confusion, you are still attracting. You're just attracting things that are going to continue to perpetuate your state of fear and confusion. And I know that's not what anyone would consciously want. If I was hanging out with you in your office and I said, hey, do you want to attract fear and confusion or do you want to attract flow and clarity? <laughs> I'm certain that 100% of you would say, I'm ready for flow and clarity and abundance and rapid business growth and feeling really good as an entrepreneur and having my business scale at a level that feels like a pace that feels flowing and easy and fun. And I wake up in the morning feeling alive and free. And I want to continue to build my business because it feels fun instead of like a prison where I'm constantly in a state of fear and confusion. Okay, so let's break down some action steps for each of these. So first, for fear, you're gonna apply my inner power formula, which is number one, recognize, two, reframe, and three, repeat to reprogram. So let's apply that here so that you can practice using it. So number one, you're gonna recognize and reframe your fears. And the reason this is important, like I said, is because when you don't recognize your fear, it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It just means that you're avoiding and resisting. And resistance is the number one reason that you don't attract what you want consciously. So when you're pretending you're not afraid, you are actually increasing the resistance. Carl Jung says what you resist not only persists but grows in size. And I love that thinking because that's exactly how it works with the law of attraction. If you are pretending your fear isn't there, you're resisting it. And then instead of it going away, you're actually causing it to grow. And that's going to cause you to slow down your law of attraction powers for success. So that's why it's important to recognize it. So here are two questions to ask yourself. And let me say here, I one of the most powerful recognition tools is to ask yourself powerful questions. This takes you slowing down enough to be self-reflective and digging into knowing yourself so that you can be in a state of inner power and get what you want. And so everything I design, all of my products, programs, services, podcast episodes, everything I put out into the world is going to be helping you apply my inner power formula, which is recognize, reframe, repeat to reprogram. And recognition requires self-awareness, like I said, and asking yourself questions. If you haven't checked out my Law of Attraction for Entrepreneurs program, go to lawofattractionforentrepreneurs.com and it'll unlock 90 lessons that are going to give you journaling prompts every single day with lessons, affirm mantras, a short meditation. And so just like what I'm walking you through here today, you'll get that every single morning so that you can use the inner power formula to attract success your way as an entrepreneur. It's a really powerful program and it's very similar to what we're doing here today, the format of it. I teach and then I help you recognize and reframe and reprogram yourself for success. So law of attraction for entrepreneurs.com. Okay, so to recognize your fears and then reframe them, here are two questions I want you to ask yourself. What am I actually afraid of? What am I actually afraid of? So first, just write down your fear. Like, let's say you've been freaking out about getting enough clients in the next month to meet your goal. You know, it could be the goal of whatever that goal is. Let's just say that's your fear. So what are you actually afraid of? And dig in when you ask these questions. Okay, I'm afraid I'm not going to get the clients. Well, why does that scare you? Well, if I don't get the clients, then I don't think I'll be, look successful as an entrepreneur. Okay, whose judgment am I afraid of? I'm afraid that my partner will think I'm a failure. Or, oh, you know, I told this person I was gonna have this many clients and I didn't, and now I'm afraid I look like an idiot. To just write everything you can think of, like what are you actually afraid of? And just get real with yourself. Stop resisting it. Play with what am I actually afraid of? And just take the time to journal and ask yourself that question. Now, the second question to ask yourself is, is the fear real or a story I'm making up in my mind? Is the fear real or a story I'm making up in my mind? And dig here again. Write out the story. What's the story you're making up in your mind? Because I can guarantee you 99% of the time, it is a story you're making up in your mind. Most fears are made up in your mind. They are the future expectation of awful results. So you're just future planting a negative story and you're playing that story out in your mind. So really get real with yourself if that's a real story 
fear or not. Even when it comes to money fears, a lot of people, I ask people when I'm on a call with them, let's say it's a client and I'm talking to them about their fears, and I say, is that actually true that you are not going to be able to eat this month? Like they'll say, you know, oh no, my business is gonna fail and I'm really freaked out, I can't pay my bills. And we go down this line of like, okay, what are your assets? And, and then realistically they realize, oh, I actually have a ton of assets and it's just that I am not making the money yet that I choose to make in my business. And so they realize this is just a story I'm making up, which helps to uh, let go of the fear instead of holding on to it and letting it grow. So what am I actually afraid of? Is the fear real or a story I'm making up in my mind? Okay, reframe. So now on this reframe, ask yourself, what's a flow-filled thought I can focus on right now? Flow, remember, faithfully looking for opportunities to win. So what's a flow-filled thought I can focus on right now. And I'm gonna give you an Afro mantra to help you focus in the direction and just write down everything you can think of. What can I change my mind about? And like the example I gave of working with a client, I said, okay, well, what are all of your assets? What do you actually already have? What have you already created as an entrepreneur? Those are flow-filled thoughts that are gonna shift your mind away from the fear and help you release it and let go and transmute and transform it instead of focusing on the fear. Now you're starting to focus on, oh, I do have a lot of assets. I do have skills. I do have a network of people I can rely on. I, If I got into the right strategic action today, I actually could create some business. If I just let myself drop the fear instead of freaking out about it and letting it grow, I could actually get into action and make something happen. Or, or And let's not even say make something happen, attract success from a state of flow. So the Afro mantra for this one is, I choose to transform my fear into flow and take one small step to manifest my dreams. And you could just say, I choose to transform my fear into flow. I choose to transform my fear into flow. I choose to take one small step to transform my fear into flow. I choose to let go of my fear and step into flow to be a successful entrepreneur. So there's a whole bunch of fun variations you can use on this Afro mantra. Just use the statement, I choose. This is a starter statement that's very important so you can program your brain with something that you 100% believe to be true. So just write a flow-filled thought that starts with, I choose to blank. So I choose to focus on flow. I choose to see flow in my business. I choose to allow flow into my day. So there are some examples. So that's how you're going to recognize and reframe your fears. Now let's play with recognizing and reframing your confusion. So remember that clarity is power. Clarity is magnetic. And the reason why is because clarity sends a laser focused message to the universe about what you want and that helps you attract it easily. If you've been listening to me for a while, you've heard me say many times, scattered energy leads to scattered results. And confusion is scattered energy. Confusion and overwhelm are scattered energy. I really think of confusion as an unconscious avoidance strategy because you're afraid. So what I mean by that is that you are pretending and telling yourself you're confused because you're avoiding something. And so if you are feeling fear, you can go to a state of confusion to pretend that you're not afraid. And then that confusion causes you to have analysis paralysis, not take action, and stay stuck in the puzzle of trying to solve things. And I use that word trying intentionally because when you are trying to solve something, you're struggling, you're confused, you are lacking focus, you are causing scattered energy. And so clarity is what is the solution here, and it's what you want to start reframing toward. And so let's play with recognition questions for confusion. So to recognize your confusion, you're gonna ask yourself, what is the exact problem or challenge I am facing? So remember, confusion is because you are not clear, so you wanna get clarity on what you actually feel like you're confused about. So what's the exact problem or challenge I'm facing? And again, you wanna dig here. Okay, if I feel confused about what's the next step to take, in my business. So your exact problem is confusion about next steps. Okay. Now really simply ask yourself, what do I want to have happen? Okay. I want to know the next step to take to build my business. Okay. Now for the reframe. So this would be the third question and the reframe. What's one clear and small action step I can take right now to attract results or to get clear. Let's say what's one clear and small action step I can take right now to 
I would say get results because the confusion is stopping your results. So play with the clear action steps. So if you say, okay, what's the exact problem? I don't know the next step to take. What do I want to have happen? I want to know the next step. Okay, so what's one clear step I can take right now? And you don't need to know A to Z. This is what leads to overwhelm and confusion is that you think you have to have the whole grand plan in mind. And of course that's confusing. If right now today, wherever you're at, you're thinking you've got to know how to get to step Z, but you're only at step D, then you're gonna feel confused because you don't know all those steps yet and you don't need to. You can have a loose plan and then take a clear step that will lead to a more clear plan over time. And so if you don't know the next step, ask yourself what's one clear small step I can take today, okay? so. I know for with certainty, you could go back and listen to episodes of mine to know a next step. You could ask yourself, okay, what's the step I'm hesitating on? And then you could go through and ask yourself the fear questions to unblock the fear and then get into action and just take one small step. Action unlocks fear and uncertainty and confusion because you start to see things more clearly. And the way I like to think about this is the upward spiral growth trajectory. When you're on the bottom of the spiral, which would be fear and confusion, you can't see you're from the vantage point of the top. And so when you start taking action, you start to shift out of that bottom point and you know even to the side point of the spiral. And then when you get to the top, you have new perspectives and you go, oh, okay, I see now. And then you do it again and again and again. And so this isn't ever gonna stop. I go into states of fear and confusion. I go into states of overwhelm and freaking out. It's This it happens to all of us, we're human. It's not that it's not gonna happen, it's how you handle it when it happens. So are you responsive or are you reactive? Reactive would be that you stay in that state and you let it consume you and nothing happens and then you can't be successful as an entrepreneur or a human because you feel so frustrated and stuck. If you respond, the ability to respond means you're responsible, you're radically responsible and you decide, okay, I'm gonna reframe this fear. I'm gonna first recognize the fear and confusion. I'm gonna reframe it. I'm gonna then repeat this and get different results and reprogram myself for success. So again, for the confusion, ask yourself, what is the exact problem or challenge I'm facing? What do I want to have happen? And then what's one clear action step I can take right now to attract results? And then the Afro mantra for clarity would be, I choose to let go of confusion and attract clarity so I can manifest success with ease. I choose to let go of confusion. You could really just play with that one, like close your eyes for a few minutes and just say, I choose to let go of confusion. I choose to let go of confusion. I choose to be clear. I choose to attract clarity. I choose to take one step to attract clarity. I choose to let go of confusion and attract clarity so I can manifest success with ease. And so just play with variations of that and then take the action. So number three here is to take action on repeat. Remember, you must repeat, 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 repeat to reprogram your subconscious mind. And so, like I just said, these things are gonna keep coming. It's not that you're all of a sudden gonna eliminate fear and confusion and never feel those things again. That would be an unrealistic expectation because you're human. Instead, it's that you're gonna start reprogramming yourself to take strategic action. And when you notice and recognize that the fear and confusion is coming up, you reframe and keep repeating. And then over time, what will happen is that you will very quickly transition out of these things instead of staying stuck in them for a long time. Sometimes I see people get stuck for weeks, months, years. That's not necessary. You could literally only stay stuck for an hour and then recognize, oh wow, I'm in a state of fear and confusion. Okay, Dr. Amanda said to use the inner power formula, recognize, reframe, repeat to reprogram, and then you can shift out of it really quickly and then you become higher and higher vibrational frequency and then you attract success your way more quickly and easily. So those are the steps for that. So in order to take action on repeat, first thing you're gonna do is recognize. Each morning, ask yourself, what are one to three clear, small action steps I can take today to move in the direction of my success? So every single morning, ask yourself, what are one to three clear, small action steps I can take today to move in the direction of my success? And then you're gonna repeat this every single day and watch your success multiply and exponentially expand over the course of a year. 
And the after mantra for this one is, it feels good to be clear and focused to create an increasing flow of success in my business. And you could just say, it feels good to be clear and focused. It feels good to be clear and focused. It feels good to be clear and focused as I attract success as an entrepreneur. It feels good to be clear and focused to be an, a law of attraction. I was gonna say a manifesting, a manifesting master. It feels good to be clear and focused to be a law of attraction based entrepreneur who easily attracts abundance. It feels good to be clear and focused as an entrepreneur as I attract success and abundance. <laughs> so there's a whole bunch of fun variations for you. I love after mantras and helping you reprogram your mind. Again, go to lawofattractionforentrepreneurs.com if you haven't yet unlocked those 90 lessons and then check out the free trial, see if it's a good fit for you. This is the type of stuff I teach in there and you get it five days a week plus a book club. Right now we're on Think and Grow Rich and we're having a lot of fun with that book. So check that out and let's recap and for today. So fear and confusion, you are going to recognize and reframe your fears. You're going to recognize and reframe your confusion. And then you're going to take action on repeat to program yourself for success so that you can transition out of fear and confusion quickly and you can respond and be a radical responsibility master who accesses the law of attraction to rapidly grow your business and be a successful entrepreneur and enjoy that time and money freedom that successful entrepreneurship creates where you have limitless income and limitless impact and you enjoy the journey and you're just jumping with joy <laughs> or you're relaxing with joy, whatever it looks like to you and feeling like, yes, I designed a life and business I love and this is what it takes. All right, so psyched to be with you here again today. And until next time, I'm sending you giant hugs and inner power high fives.